Hi friends, it's Deanna here today. And today we are going to be sewing up a uh, mask um, and making this mask with um, just uh, cotton, 100% cotton. I actually do three layers of 100% cotton and I'm using um, elastic. Um, this elastic is um, 1 8 wide and seven inches long. I'm gonna show you my fabric, how wide it is and everything, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Right, so I have three pieces of fabric, cotton, and they're all, what I do is I put them all up and I cut them all at the same time, uh, and I make them a seven by nine. And I know you can't really tell in my cutting mat because it's turned. Um, the measurements are a little bit different on here because I've been, I've worn out my mat on the other side, so I turned it. But um, anyway, it is seven inches by nine inches, and I have three different layers of cotton, which is what I'm using. I've got uh, seven inch elastic, so this is seven inches, and I've got two of those. So then I'll need the two pieces of elastic, the three layers of cotton, and I like to do um, the back a different color than the front. That way, when you wear it, you can know which one's the front, which one's your, which side you've worn on the front and which side you've worn towards your mouth. Um, so I'm gonna grab the front side first and I'm gonna put it face up. Um, I'm grabbing my elastic and I'm gonna put, I'm going to pin my elastic about a half an inch away from the raw edge. And I want the raw edge of the elastic to be facing the outside. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. I just pin it. And then on the other side, I'm gonna pin the elastic on the other side as well. So once I've pinned the elastic on the outside of the, on the, around the mask, you'll see it's on the two short edges. I'm gonna grab my other two layers of cotton and I'm gonna put them right on top of each other. And the right side of the cotton is facing the right side of my outer. So the two outers are facing right sides together. And then I'm just gonna put two pins, one up here and one down here. You can pin it more if you feel like you want to pin more around the edges. And now we're gonna go ahead and sew it. All right, once it's been cut, I like to start at the long edge and I start almost towards the end. I sew it flushed with my foot and I go all the way about a quarter of an inch from the edge. I turn, when I get to the elastic, I go over the elastic and I come right back over it. So I run over it twice and then I go straight down. Go over the next piece of elastic and come back over it. Turn, go all the way around that one long edge Till I get to the corner. Then I run over that other side elastic and come back. And go all the way down. What I like to do, honestly, is I like to uh, sew about, cut them all up, a bunch of them up. Then I like to sew a bunch of them up. Then I like to turn a lot, well, a bunch of them up. So I do a little, a bunch at a time of the same thing. I'm going to um, leave a about two inch gap right there where I'm gonna turn my fabric around at. All right, so now I've got that little gap right there. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna turn my fabric through that gap. Pulling the elastic out at the corners. And if you have a tool or whatever you wanna use, I'm, right now I'm gonna use my sewing tweezers and you just wanna poke out that, those corners. Now you don't have to do all that, but I like to do it. And sometimes before I, I turn it, I like to clip the corners of my, uh, the, I like to go ahead and clip the corners. That way it gives you a nice sharp edge but you don't have to do that. It makes it quicker if you don't, you just turn it around um, and it still looks good. So now that it's flat, this piece right here that I did not search you, so you wanna tuck those in, those ends in right there, and you're gonna run over them when you sew it together. So you just wanna make sure that that, that, that fabric is tucked in there. 
Okay. Once it steams straight, we're going to go ahead and fold it on the wrong side, wrong sides together. If you have a pretty front, then you want the wrong sides together. Then I'm gonna fold those two sides in towards the middle and that middle crease that I just created. And then you open it and now you're on the right side. Now on the right side, if you see, you'll have those little curves and you're gonna fold those curves, that curve up, okay? And you're gonna fold it up about half an inch. Now, if you don't, if you can't mix, uh, kind of eyeball a half an inch, you can use your ruler and I don't have one right in front of me. You can use your ruler and measure what a half an inch is right here, but I just kind of look at it and, and it's a half an inch and I'm going to pin it on one side and pin it on the other side as well. Then we're going to do the same thing for the next pleat. We're going to push it up and another half an inch on each side, about a half an inch. One, and here's the other side. And then the last piece up again and pin. Make sure you pin the uh, fabric and not your finger. I pin my finger all the time. Okay, so there it is. Now your pleats are nice and straight. So now we're gonna go ahead and sew all the way around to tack those right, pleats. So I'm now. just doing a straight stitch again and I start on the edge and the raw edge is meeting the end of my fabric. I kind of help pull it up with my elastic or whatever and I pull those pins out and kind of use the same pin to help it like go down as it's going over the fabric. It's going to be a thick seam, like a thick area right there on that side. So you might want to take it slow with your sewing machine, depending on how heavy duty your sewing machine is. You want to get this pleat out of the way so you don't run over it. Going all the way down. Stop about a half to a quarter inch from the side again I'm using my pin to hold this down as I'm gonna run over it and then the last one go down to the bottom and then go now you can be done with just going around it once especially because we ran over that elastic a couple times but I like to go over it again just to give it a more uniform look and uh, you know I'm just a little funny like that but um, there is a little piece right here on my foot that I line up with my my uh, seam I already made and I just go all the way around again kind of follow that guide and stop and then go all the way down on the top And then when I come to the opposite side, I use my pin again because they want to stand up. And then down. Once we're done, I just use my scissors and clip those. And we are done with our mask. Okay, now my mask is done. And as you can see, I have elastic on my ears um, and it fits really nicely. Now, if you wanted to, um, you can go check out the Elia Mac YouTube page for a tutorial and a free tutorial of how to do this ear headband, um, which goes right over your ears. And it has buttons on the side where if you wanted to add buttons, so that it could be nicely on your ears and you don't have to wear it around your ears. I know a lot of people want that tutorial. It's got a cute little knot in the top. And if you didn't want to wear it with the knot on the top, you could wear it upside down and it give you more coverage for your hair as well. And it covers the ears and here's your button. So you would put it, your mask right on there. I'm wearing it kind of crooked right now, but whoop. there it is. So there it is, the mask. And I'm gonna give you a link for the 
for the headband. It's also a free pattern. Um, so if you want to go check it out, you can go check it out. I'll put the link on the comments on the information below. Um, I, let me know if you have any questions about anything I did with the mask. I like to use pretty fabric because I always feel like, you know, if you have to wear a mask, uh, it might as well be something pretty. I do a seven inch, which is kind of long, but um, I figured that if you um, need it shorter, you can just tie it off a little bit at the ends. I would need it shorter, um, but that's just me and some people need it longer. So that's why I did seven inches because um, you can always tie it and make it shorter. I'd rather it be longer than too short, um, but yeah. There is the mask. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all next time.